So quick look start what we do at the game start. Obviously, after save start, Romeo 1, we'll head northwest. Their task is to find where the backup radar is, get ready to assault it on my command. Romeo 2, with Romeo 10, that is myself, we will head direct east, go see what the informant is about. Uh, Romeo 3 will start heading towards the signal station, they will try to infiltrate it and put a listening device there. And Romeo 4 will head directly to our regroup 1 position, using a route of their cho choosing, and see if it's safe, and if so, they will wait for the rest of the platoon to arrive to assault on the airfield. And I won't go through the entire plan, I trust everybody has read, but we will bl we blow up the radars, we ignore the anti-airs to enable the air raid come in. Then we exfil north to the lookout or regroup there, and then we head for primary exfil. Exfil comes at 0610 hours, don't be late or you will be missed. Speaking of exfil, there is uh, tell this to your radio operators, there is an Indian it that can be found in the um, comms channels. That's where the pilots will be, so once we are expecting exfil, we can communicate with the pilots on the India channel. Should we fail the primary objective, uh, that means that the airfield is going or the air raid will fail as well, and we will not have extracts from primary exfil. So should we fail our primary mission, we will have to extract from the secondary exfil, which is at the southwest edge of the entire game area. So in complete opposite direction. So you have to be warned. Let's not fail this, otherwise we'll uh, have serious problems in our hands. What else? Uh, remember sound discipline, it is night. And uh, we only have limited radios, so it is hard, but uh, try to tell your guys to avoid yelling until we are in contact. Secondly, this is uh, in particular to the um, Romeo 3, but also other units. If you go to your... Where is it? So, yeah, on the map screen, uh, we should have Nurmi functions. You can see that we have the Intel tab. At the bottom you can see pictures of all the different intel items that we can interact with. So if you come into contact with any of these, you will have a call to action, do it together intelligence. In particular to Romeo 3, you can see the electrical box, that is what we are supposed to plant our listening device in. Um, speaking of intel, once you do corrective, um, the mission maker has informed me that we need to share it manually across the platoon. And how that works that if you have a piece of intelligence on yourself you will get the pop-up that intel and you can see it on the map screen you can use ace self-interaction to share that to everybody who has the same radio frequency as you or if you don't have a radio somebody else can self-interact on you to get your intelligence to them so that's something to keep in mind next respawn we have one respawn wave during this mission that will be spawned at an unknown time they will spawn at the northeast, northeast corner of the game area. You can see the respawn marker. Um, respawners, basically highest ranking player present, will take command. They will try to establish radio communications to me. If that does not happen, and they are unable to establish command or radio con contact, the respawners will form a new ad hoc squad. They will head south, destroy the anti-air side and the crash plane in an effort to gather intelligence and distract the enemy. And then once the um, extraction arrives, they will also fall, fall back to the primary exfil. So once again, 0610 is when the extraction arrives. Uh, next up, enemy does have attack. I mean, we have a big air base here. There will be air activity, so airplanes coming and going. And enemy also has attack helicopters in this area, which have been, which do use searchlight according to our intelligence. So we may get attack helicopters searching for us. If that happens, take measures to avoid being spotted, i.e., you know, be in the woods, stay still beneath a tree, and they will have a hard time finding you. Because if they do, they will probably obliterate you with arch cannon and rocket fire. Do they have thermal? In 1980-something, unlikely, but we don't know. How about NVG is the pilots? Unlikely, but possible. Speaking of NVGs, we do have IR strobes. We are not expecting the enemy to have NVGs, but uh, let's maintain, you know, a restricted IR discipline. You can use the strobes if you feel it's necessary. At certain times, don't keep it on, but keep them off by default. 
just in case there is some night vision equipment on the enemy side. And yeah, that's about it. Do we have any questions from the squad leaders? No, sir. Um, the pink lines from the lookout, they basically uh, are to represent the view that it has, correct? No, that's just like how I would call it. Like routes from Yeah, roughly targets. like routes that I envision that okay. in best case we will take to get back to the lookouts. Okay. In case okay. somebody actually needs those. But basically for the rest of the platoon it's pretty easy. We follow the river until we get the buildings and we head straight north. And uh, you guys can uh, use the road to Uniform 6 and head northeast from there. Mm -hmm. But yeah, from the lookout, we can have visual observation of the airfield, so hopefully we can observe the effects of the airstrike to do some BDA. But we'll see if or when that happens. Any other questions? I have a question. Uh, on the map is drawn uh, from group one. Uh, yeah. There is an arrow moving to dish two, but on the briefing I don't see anything mentioning take care of the airfield rider just to move to another Those are one. just like advisory lines roughly like what our plan is we're going to move from regroup one Romeo one will assault to this one this two with uh, okay, Romeo okay. three in support and Romeo copy, one copy, will copy. assault to hangar as one and destroy any okay. airplanes found there and if Romeo two happens to get destroyed by some means Romeo one will move immediately north and use their explosive or most likely their AT launchers to shoot at the radar this is Copy that. So yeah, we we have to destroy the radars, otherwise we are pretty boned. Any other questions? Uh, if Romeo three is compromised, yes. uh, we will break the contact to northeast and then start to uh, move towards the crashed plane. That's affirmative. If you are compromised the signal station, you will not come to recruit one. To compromise the platoon, you will move northeast and draw the enemy away. Also, we, we, we could try to uh, ambush any convoy coming from Arsar Perkele, Perkele towards yep. the signal station uh, and uh, take our suppressors off so they will surely start to follow us. If that sounds like a good game plan to you, you are free to do so. Obviously, we have no idea about the actual enemy movement if they take that route but yeah sounds good yeah because uh, that's basically only road coming towards signal station yeah you have a free reign to distract the enemy and then arrive at primary exfil at extraction time yeah but we will of course try to keep it quiet uh, one more question uh we are tasked we're going to a hangar one and destroy uh, valuable equipment uh, we don't have any charges How you have at you have at launchers okay you used to us then. Okay, copy. And you can, you know, we got rifles dumping a few max of 5.56 into the rotor or the airplane engine. Copy so that. Uh, should give the mechanic something to think about. Um, do you expect MSR Stahlhagen to be like uh, very active? I'm just like thinking which route I should take to my, my first objectives. Uh, I, I definitely would assume it's you, but that's yeah. why you can be in the woods right next to it. You'll be we... right. So what we know about the Soviets is they are currently actively engaged in suppressing the local resistance movement. So there may be some actual combat operations going on in our AO. Okay. And do you expect, or do you have any idea about like the range from which the dogs can start uh, trading you? I'm just like, do you have to uh, like find a path that you have left behind in order to start tracking or is there like a... 50 meter radius that you were sent it's, has. it's pretty it's pretty restricted so how i how i would operate okay. and how a smart person will operate the dog is if they have a target that they know that you have been in they will do mm -hmm. like a 360 circle around the area mm -hmm. to find the place that you came into that area so yeah yeah okay that's how they will most likely operate okay so it's it's uh highly like unlikely that we would come into contact with a dock patrol once like doing any transit operations yes, on the AO. That is phenomenally unlikely. How the dock will yeah. how how the dock is ideally used in the enemy's perspective is that they will establish 
where you have been and in which direction you are going, attempting to deploy fast moving troops in front of you to cut off your line of retreat. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Um, also, how populated is the rebel force around the AO? I mean, we don't know. Okay. We have. Uh, I'm like... guessing there are gonna be none on the airfield, right? On the airbase. Russians. I mean, we are. I mean, it is their main airbase, so there is probably going to be Russians there. I mean, we are. And it, yeah, as soon as we open up, they're all gonna converge on it too. So. Yeah. I mean, they are actively using the airbase to facilitate air operations. So, yeah. We shouldn't engage the rebel force, right? They are neutral. Oh, the resistance, mo uh, resistance force. No, they are neutral to us. Do not engage the um, rebels, okay. if at all. Boss. Uh, one final thing that I might as well mention here. And there are, uh, we have intelligence from the intel resistance that they have trip fire, trip fire flares around the airfield. So take that into account. We may run into those once we attack. But we only have two and a half minutes, so I would much rather have you guys go to your squads and go through what we are going to do immediately at the start. All right, yep. Got to go brief, my guys. Uh... Kysymys. Pummeri, mihin ryhmään kuulut? Uhu, kuulko bummeri? Okay. Hold on. Mä en oo ihan edusti kärryilemaan tuonne iltapalaa lapsille, se on Ei se mitään. Ei mulla... Mä osannu laskea, että tähän tulee toinen tyyppi. Ää... Seurat mua ja pidät mut elossa. Missä jotain tutkia tai aseita ollaan tuossa? Missin tutka? Juu, nyt se on. Mistä me aloitetaan? Ihan tuolta tuota eteläreunasta. Eteläreunasta? Joo, tossa. Joo tossa. Vähän niin kuin oikea alakulma on tuo iso sininen nuoli. Lähdetään sieltä. Ollaanko me maassa ja alussa vai missä me ollaan? Ollaan, ollaan maassa ja me lähdetään meidän kakkosryhmän kaa tonne itään päin katsoa toi informantti. Mikä siellä on tehtäväni? Niin... Siellä on kuulemma paikallisen vastaintariikkeen joku tämmönen yhteyshenkilö. Yritetään saada Vastaan. siihen. Jotain kontaktia, jos silloin olisi antaa meille jotain tietoa vihollisen liikkeestä alueella. Mm, no sitten tuo on tuo joku, joku läheiden pitää asentaa tuonne signaali juttu. Joo, se on meidän kolmas ryhmä lähtee sinne. Ei ole meidän. No, mitä nelonen ja ykkönen, kun sitten tuhoaa sen tutkalla, mitä? Eli ykkönen lähtee heti etsimään sitä backup traderia tietä, missä on. Nelonen menee tuonne. Mitä? Eli ykkönen lähtee etsimään, missä on backup traderi. Me ei tiedetä ihan tarkalleen, missä se on. Ai, silloin toinenkin, okei. Okay. On. Toi nelosryhmä menee tonne Regroup ykköselle, katsoo, että se on tyhjä, ne odottaa kakkos- ja kolmasryhmää, että ne on tehnyt tehtävänsä. Sitten kaksi, kolme ja neljä yhdessä hyökkää tuohon lentokentälle ja tuhoaa sieltä kaksi tutkaa. No, mitä sen nelonen puuhailee sinä ootat? No, ensinnäkin mä oletan, että niillä menee aika kauan löytää se. Ja jos siellä on niin paljon liikennettä esimerkiksi noilla teillä, niin sitten ne toivottavasti ilmoittaa sitä mulle ja me koulutaan tätä joukkoa johonkin muuhun kohtaan. Okei, okay, briefing time is up. Uh, it seems that none of the sites had requested more briefing time, so yeah. Admin will put the mission on in 30 seconds. Plus mä en halua yhtään lisää äijiä noihin muihin kohteisiin, niin niille pitää tehdä jotain.
Sitten kun tutkat ohjalla, niin kaikki ryhmät menee tuonne pohjoiseen. Tuollaisen ison mäen päälle, missä on lukautti, ja sieltä sitten mennään Primary Exfilillä kolme tuntia aikaa suorittaa tämä. Hello guys. Hello. What the fuck is wrong with my voice? Mitä tällä näkyy siinä? Eikö sitä että Mike mitä saa korottaa? Ei ole jo. Hello. Seems like he hit super. Ah, Paris. Yes mate. Mobile check. Party ja jaot. It's the matter. From your chain. Signing on to platoon net. Alright, anybody, anybody yeah, with the radio, go yellow, go goose, and sure, wait, why does everybody have like the medic icon, what the fuck? Romeo's gonna be a little bit of a people that are following Z, go cool, ready, yes, sir, what's a sad, 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 what's a Aikahan sen toisen jotenkin niinku... ...häilut samaa. Mitä sen toisen vammaa? Romeo one. Jean, go yellow. Romeo one. Romeo ten. Good check. Good check. This is Romeo 2, check. Romeo 2, Romeo 10, good check. This is Romeo 4, radio check. Romeo 3, radio check. Romeo 3, Romeo 4, good radio checks. Oh, don't worry, you're not cheating. Romeo 4, radio check. Let me see the, uh, put the night... Mikä on I-verkko pitkissä? In India, eli sitten kun toi Exfil tulee, niin siellä pystytään puhumaan noille piloteille, jotka hakee meitä. Oh, alright, yeah. Romeo 2, RTO radio check. Romeo 2, Romeo 10, good radio check. So pretty much as soon as we get to the, it's back in Exfil. Yeah, definitely. Whenever we get to the, uh, the airfield, I'll take that from you. Alright, uh... That place is all gonna be lit up. Romeo, Romeo 2? Yeah. Do you have a... Romeo 2! Do you have an idea? Yep. We're following this man. Okay. No, I'm following you. You guys are taking me to the informants. Oh, okay. Alright. Then you're... Alright, that's fine, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um... Stay with Roderick and Toxic. He's our RTO and medic. Yep. All right. Green team, we are point. Blue team, you are falling on my left 20 meters. Okay. Roderick, stay back. But just don't lose, uh, don't lose visual. Me me seurataan tota meidän kakkosryhmää, kun mennään sinne informantilla. Katsotaan suoraan itään sitä. Voitaisi olla jossain tuota ehdotettu partio ja kohdalla, jos me olisi tämän merkittävä merkittävä. Tämä on kyllä lyhennetty. Jaa, on mielestä tuota jolla on merkittävä merkittävä. Se on hyvä. Näkyy sitä ryhmätunnissa, jos näkyy paljonkaan. Yeah, so, how's your day? Yeah, how's your day? Yeah, how's your day? Very chill. Very chill. How is the weather in Portugal? Um, kind of okay. Näkyy sitä karttaa olla. Ää, joo, kyllä, eli sun kasvot niinku valaistuu. Eli, tähän tyyli. If you need something, go to your person who's marked in yellow, except Gene's stupid, and then relay it. But do not say anything. Make sure you stay inside of your little minimap on the bottom, in range of your yellow man. Okay. Yeah. Medic has long range too. Medic does what? Yeah. Okay. Perfect. All right. That's fine. All right. We are going to be heading direct, direct east from here. Direct east. Make sure Gene's awake before we go. Bro, what is Gene doing, bro? What a bot, bro. Yeah, we're gonna. We need to move quickly here. Mä nyt kokeillaan. 
Alright, blue team stay with Gene, everyone else will go. Really? Yeah. Really? Blame Gene, bro. Blame Gene. Long range radio. Come, uh, check. Test. Okay, okay check. Honestly, Pietro's back. He's back. He's back. Gene. He was aiming around. Alright. Romeo 2. Good luck, guys. Me. Go, go, go. Tarkistetaan välissä, niin suurin piirtein tuossa meillä jäi pitäisi jäädä toi 611 korkeuskäyrä. Se varmaan huomataan, kun tuossa on semmonen 30 metriä melkein korkeusero, niin huomataan, että toi harjanne on meidän oikealla puolella, niin tiedetään, että ollaan oikeassa suunnassa. Vielä tähän vaiheeseen mulla on kysymys, mikä se on se, tota noin, se lamppu tohon noin karttoon, mä en löydä sitä. Boomer lähetään suoraan itään. Romeo 1 0, this is Romeo 1, radio check over. Romeo 1, Romeo 1 0, good check. Romeo 1 copy is RG 5x5 as well out. Same. We got a guy in the back because TFR is not working. Yep. Enemy car! This is Romeo 4, we did and get spotted by the car. Sanoko se, että did get spotted or didn't get spotted? Toivon parasta, ei mietitä sitä nyt liikaa. Miksikään sun ääni on niin hiljaa? Mä oon varmaan Visperillä. Lähetä. Zero, Romeo 1 on the move to first target area, over. Copy last. Romeo 1 out. Onko niillä mitään lämpäreitä? Ei pitäis. Ei pitäis olla myöskään näkkäreitä. Siellä on tota, valon heittimiä ainakin helikoptereissa. Boomerin jatketaan liikettä Romeo troop, keep advancing. Romeo, once you're following you. Copy.
Ää, voitko toistaa radiossa? My RTO is having issues with his short range radio, so he may be speaking on LR to me from time to time. Bummeri, Reveli, mikä sun sijainti? Sellaista väärää ryhmää. Sellaista se on joskus. En mä tiedä, missä mä menen. Mä vaan katsoin, että miksi sille meni joku yksinäinen hii. Vittu kun tinnittää korvassa. Command, we heard small arms fire at the uh, northeast east from our position. We're closing in on the informant. Copy, last. You want us to keep pushing that way? Affirmative. Um, secure the area and see if uh, we can actually make contact with the informant. Toista sulle joku kysymys? Niin, että pitääkö sitä epäillä sitä paikkaa jonakin mahdollisena väijypaikkana, että pitääkö se varmistaa aikaa se ympäristö ennen kuin sinne menee? No siis ne venäläiset todennäköisesti yrittää etsiä tätä henkilöä ja ne haluaa tappaa sen, jos ne löytää. Ei, mä, tuskin se on mikään väijytys, mutta jos huonolla tuurilla, niin ne, on sa ne saapuu sinne ennen meitä ja pistää sen paikan matalaksi.
joku valo kävi tuossa äsken päällä. Lähettääkö tää radi? Joo, lähettää. Varmasti. Command, enemy Russians have secured the position. Copy. Romeo 2, break contact. We are not pursuing this target. Hey, from. Heading to regroup one. I repeat, heading to regroup one. Roger, glade the men. We're, we're going to regroup one. Zero, this is Romeo one. Send message. We have cr crossed the opening uh, position now, Yankee one northwest, about 100 meters in the woods. Uh, currently plotting our way towards Yankee three and continuing. That's blind. Over. Copy last. Romeo four, Citrop. Uh, Romeo three, en route towards. Uh... Signal station, I'll inform you once we cross a SR truck. Romeo 4. Uh, this, this is Romeo 4, uh, ETA for the regroup marker, 2 minutes. Copy, last. Romeo 1 zero and Romeo 2 are on their way to regroup 1 now. Out. Max Kakkosta. Joo, ne meni tosta meidän eestä vasemmalle päin äsken. Oni pari kaveria, yksi venäläinen seisoo tulla ovi aukossa. Joo, ja... mennään kakkosen P, siis ei, ei jäädä taistele tänne. Täten, raumetri. Sen mesit. We have just crossed ASR track. We are about 100 meters north from X-ray 3, advancing towards the signal station. Copy. Romeo 3, be advised. Russian motorized unit at X-ray 2. Break. They may reinforce signal station from ASR Polku. Romeo 1, zero out. Command, we lost our main uh, squad leader, I'm assuming command. Copy last. Romeo 2, head to regroup 1. Wait for, for the platoon there. I repeat, regroup 1. Roger that. This is Romeo 4, we to reach regroup 1. No contact so far. Copy last, Romeo 4. Observe. Main road to your west, break. Do not engage Copy. enemy contact. Wait for the platoon to arrive to assault the main airfield. Command, this is uh. This is Romeo 2. I just got kicked and reconnected. It took me back to the normal spawn. Can I be TP'd or do I need to walk? That's between you and the admins. Not much I can do. Recommend use the uh, call admin function in the escape menu. I've been a little hacked on it. No, many. Eikä sinne ainakaan ekana kannata hyökätä. Mitä me hyödytään siitä, jos me saadaan se kaveri yhteys? Mitä me ilmaisin? Tää on niinku metasyy. Se on tota... Siis tot... Se on... Sen takia mä lähdenkin sieltä, että ei se hyödytä meitä, mutta... Vo... Mitä mä sanoisin? Se on noiden... Se on noille venäläisille hyödyksi, tai mä veikkaan, että, että ne tuhoutta vastarintariikettä, niin jos me heitettäis niitä, niille kapuloita rattaisiin, niin sit vaan. No jos sinä joku 
tarkkaampia tai joku, niin voitko sä saa laittaa joku taistelijan parin sinne häiritteen niitä sinne? Uh, command, this is Romeo 4. We are listening right now to active vehicle movement on our sound. En mä tiedä, ketä Romeo 2 se siis on. Ja yeah, copy last. Uh, Romeo 2 and Romeo 1 0 are on route to your position now. Et jos sinne joku taistelijapari, joka olisi jäädä sinne häiritteen sitä, niin nehän sais napsittua kiertä sitä kylää vaan ympäri ja ampua sieltä ovista ikkunasta kaikki mitä näkis. Joo, mutta tässä nyt päästään siihen, että noita ryhmiä ei voida hajottaa liikaa tämän jäljitysmekaniikan takia. Niin ei, abu, ei niin haluta abusaa sitä. Minkä jäljitysmekaniikka? No, kun niillä on koiria, millä ne voi jäljittää tuota, niiden jälkiä. Se toimii silleen, että ryhmän johtaja jättää sen vainun. No, mutta eikö tuonne jää vainu, että siellä on oltu sitten, eikä sanoa? Riippuu, missä se ryhmänjohtaja oli, mutta se nyt kikit, se diskonnektasi jonnekin maailman ääriin, niin... This is Romeo 4, two vehicles coming to the house on regroup one marker. Copy last Romeo 4. Uh, there is now a track with uh, what it seems filled to the brim of enemy contacts. We have a good shot at uh, with AT uh, command. Do you want us to try it? Negative. Stay undetected if possible. Copy that. Uh, I repeat, uh, regroup one marker is not safe. Do not come here, you will get spotted. We are surrounding it, but we are not engaging. They have not seen us. Copy last. Romeo 2, Romeo 1 zero. What is your status? Romeo 2 reconnected with my unit. We are pushing direct northwest. Uh, from the informant as our first reference marker. Not really sure where we're at. I'll let you know when I see a point of interest. Copy. Re regroup one currently hot. Break. If hostile, Copy. Where do you want us to go? If hostiles do not move, we will do a alternative, re alternative regroup at Zulu 3. How copy? Ne jotenkin tulis tähän aukealle, tai olis jo tullu äsken, ne oli tässä... Ai sorry, mä oon puhunut radioa, äh, missäköhän me oikein ollaan. Äh, me ollaan tuossa... Command, this is Romeo 4, at the track feed to the brim of enemy people. I think it's moving towards a uh, perkele marker. On the copy north. Rom copy last Romeo 4. XV4 on pohjois-puolella. Joo näin. Äh, lähetään sitten tota... My guess is they're moving to signal station. Iistiin ton metsän reunaa. Mitä? Mitä? Sitten me voidaan lähteä suoraan Eastiin. Meidän pitää mennä tuonne Regroup 1 ja mennä tuonne Signal Stationille nyt pyörimään. Helpointa varmaan tuota vaan kilsa Eastiin, että päästään tuon metsän reunaan ja sitten se joustetaan. Eli täältä länteen nyt lähdetään ensin. Niin joo, länteen kyllä. Ten, this is Romeo 3. Send. Be advised, we got enemy helo searching the area around Signal Station, moving towards Regroup 1 uh, from Signal Station now. Copy last. Uh, Boomerin, lähdetkö mihin? Ihan peräs. This is Romeo Hor. Uh, we have eyes on the chopper. He's moving southwest. Copy last Romeo 4, keep your position, stay undetected, keep reporting enemy movement at regroup 1. Copy that. Mikä tää kartta 
Tämä on aika uusi, tämä nimi on Sumava. Tämä perustuu niin kuin, tsekkeihin jonkin niin kuin, oikeaan paikkaan. Eli kaikki kaupungit on oikeita. Okay. reporting enemy vehicle approaching X-ray 4 no. uh, from no, 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 Copy last. Romeo 2, be advised. Hostile vehicle approaching X-ray 2. Correction, X-ray 4. Good copy. Romeo 1, zero, Romeo 1. Send message. Uh, enemy helo just passed us approximately in we in Yankee 3, Yankee 2 area. Um, we remained undetected over. Good copy. Romeo one zero out. Tämä on tämmönen ihan kiva niin kuin keski-eurooppalainen metsä, vähän niin kuin Livonia. Mm. Helikopteri lännes. Tämä on meidän etu oikeaa kohti. Uh, command, uh, this is uh, Romeo 4. Uh, helicopter is moving towards the east, towards signal, I think. Copy, we can hear it too. Be advised, enemy helo approaching your location. Romeo one zero, Romeo one. Romeo one zero, this is one. Send message. Passing Yankee three, over. Romeo 2, Romeo 10. Send message. Romeo 2 is saying about 400 meters east of X5 heading towards regroup 1. You still want us to do that? That's probably regroup 1 should be now clear. Romeo 4 is waiting for you. This is Romeo 4, we just got the position southeast of our position. Yeah. My, my cat just jumped my keyboard. Jesus Christ. Wait a bit. Yes, my cat jumped on the keyboard. Get the fucking medic up here now. Tata. Kiitos tässä vähän tahtia, mennään pois täältä. Kantaa johonkin sillä haavoittuna. Paljonhan siellä on porukkaa maissa. No, se on se iso ryhmä, onko niitä, että kahdeksan vai yhdeksän jää rosterissa, että tota, mikä nyt on se huono skenaario.
Toi on varmaan X-Ray Vitanin meidän lännessä. Niin no. Minulla voidaan lähteä pohjoiseen. Mun mielestä joka ikinen äijä ryhmässä on medikki. Tietääkö hän se? Eikö niitä vähän uudelle? Romeo 2, 1, 0. What is your status? Romeo 2, come in please. Go ahead. What is your current status with casualties? Uh, no casualties, we have unconscious, they'll get back up. I do sincerely apologize, my cat just clawed the fuck out of me and jumped on my keyboard. I hate my life. Relocate the area as fast as possible in case the enemy sends investigation parties. Romeo wants her out. Good copy. Mitä sanot? Onkohan toi joku taskulamppu vai mikä juttu tuolla loista tuolla keskellä rinnettä vasta? Eikö se ole ihan vaan niinku talon kylissä tommonen? Niin onko se joku katuvalo? Se vaan näyttää tommosella pitkulaisena tai jotenkin hassusta. Joo mun mielestä se on niinku talo, talossa kiinni tommonen. Niin onkin. Ei vaan näy sitä niinku maahan osuva vaan jännä. Varmaan ei. No. Tuli niin sanottu catsplosion. Niin, varmaan jätetään lempikit kotiin, kun lähdetään erikoisoperaatioon. Mulla on kyllä... No, no, mulla on kyllä sympatiaa kissoille. Haluaa huomiota. Niin. Talvella, mä muistan kun oli kissa, niin ne tuli tähän minun näppäimistä eteen, kata kun lämmin paikka. Niin joo. Tietääkö ne hokkaa ja näyttö hokkaa ja kaikki hokkaa. Tuli vähän paistottelemaan lämmissä. Romeo 2 is mobile. Copy our last. Tää vitun kylttejä tässä on tässä. No tällä on saatana meidän kenttä. Hei Pääri. 
Oh, hello there. Dude, my my cat clawed the fuck out of my hand, man. I am bleeding. Uh, no idea. Can't see any warning signs. I hope, I hope it's not a minefield sign. Yeah. There's another sign over there. We're gonna walk into a minefield and blow up. Ten, Roma three. Send. Roma three, successfully tapped enemy comms. Now moving 200 meters west into the forest, and then we'll regroup there. Excellent work. We wait for you at regroup one. From your turn out. Hallelujah. Twig has it. lost connection. Twig has lost connection. Still in command. They're still moving really north. Yes. This is Romeo 2 to command. Romeo 2, send message. Uh, Romeo 2, main commander. Main squad leader has lost connection, assuming command, still moving north. Copy last, order stand, move to recruit one. From your turn out. Tuolla Zulu ykkösellä, Zulu ykkösellä näkyy olevan joku vartijapaikka tuolla, sillä on kuorma-auto ja kiväärimies seisoo risteyksessä. Varmaan muitakin joukkoja. Romeo 4, Romeo 10, message. Come in, Romeo 10. What is the status of Zulu 1? We can observe enemy guard post slash checkpoint on the main road. I'm not sure. We haven't. We didn't want to check because we might get spotted, but I can check for you if you want. Uh, negative. Remain on check, but be advised we suspect hostiles at Zulu 1 at this time. Uh, yeah, uh, a little bit up up on the road, but yeah, we see a light, so I'm guessing there are something at least. Uh, it's not from a vehicle, it's from those lamps, but yeah. From Sela Ayone, Sela Kuormaut. Joo, se on se Kuormaut, mikä näki sieltä Group 1 sillä varmaan aikaisemmin, eli noin yksi ryhmä JVT kanssa. And there is a vehicle right now coming from the north of Z1 uh, to the south. Copy. Send for ten. We have established the right uh, s signal with the enemy comms, so now listening to enemy comms advancing towards regroup one. Copy. Be advised, hostiles at Shul one approach regroup one from north, north e east. Three copies out. Ah, uh, command. This is uh, Rome four. Ah, uh, there is. Uh, one car that just stopped on the checkpoint to the west of regroup one. Copy. Another, uh, this is room for another vehicle just came in from the south. Are the vehicles stopping around Shulu 1 or just passing through? Uh, they just stopped.
also it's it's not on Sulu one. It's uh, at least uh, 50 meters on top of Sulu one. Um, it seems to be some kind of armored vehicle. Uh, it's not BRDM, but I'm not sure what it is. Cool to build the M rapid. Okay, one Your small car with one, one passenger just left uh, towards uh, Sulu 3. Se voi hankala koota joukku, että jos ei ole joku tämmönen tie, mihin sitoo se, niin se olisi toi Sulu 3 on sitten vaihtoehto. Niiden kaikkien keskelle, siinä Sulu 1 ja 3 keskelle, siinä on semmoinen suora tien, että sen itäpuolelle saa kaikki koko sinne mettäeräys. Joo, kuulostaa aika hyvältä idealta. It's Romeo 10, to Romeo 2, 3 and 4. Message as follows, right? We are going to move our recruit point to the road between Sulu 1 and Sulu 3. There's a, like a straight stretch of road. Break. So we're going to recruit there. I repeat, new recruit point. Sulu 3, south, southwest. 250 meters. Straight road in the middle of forest. Romulus 2, 3 and 4. Please confirm. Good copy. Uh, 10, this is 3, repeat. Uh, Sulu 3, southwest, 250 meters. Affirmative. Straight road going through the forest. Recruit one is too hot. Ah, uh, command. This is Roma Four. We just saw a truck moving towards Sulu Three. Copy. Romeo Four, start moving north. Take positions along the road. Sulu Three, southwest, 250 meters. Two's holding for now that we can hear that uh, audio. At 10, this is 3. Send. Just making sure that you mean southwest. There is no road indicated on the map southwest from Zulu 3. Uh, there is the ro MSR between Zulu 3 and Zulu 1. So south southwest. Main road. I can provide you with the map grid if you require that. Uh, please. Map grid as follows: one zero 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 two nine. From a three, did you get ice on? Uh, ten, three, good copy last. Uh, message is uh, follows. Enemy has multiple checkpoints around the area of operation. Locations, exact location are unknown, but they are crossroads around the AO. Uh, enemy is moving. Now move more forces towards. Air Radar 2. Air Radar 2 will get more enemy uh, footmobiles. Copy that. Uh, thanks for the inf information. Mikä on Air Radar 2? Onko se tuo Dish 2? Ah, uh, this is from F4. We Mate are already that. located where you want to have. Romeo 4. Assume positions observing the road. Sulu 3, south. Southwest, 250 meters. But you will try to recruit there. This is Romeo Come Kuntelen Vihollisen Radio. Niin on niiden omat karttamerkit, joita me ei tiedetä. No, 
miksi ne laittaa, tietää laittaa tutkan porukalle, tutkalle porukkaa enemmän. Ei voida tietää. Ja siis me ei voida no. tietää. Niin, niin, spekulaatiota kato nyt vähän. No siis teoriassa, jos nyt kuulit on räjähdyksen, jos se radar on toimi kantossa lämmökentällä, niin it would make sense. No onko myös toinen vaihtoehto, että niillä on ne koirapartiot, jossa on tuolla anti mettässä, ja ne ei ole siellä nähnyt mitään, niin ne päättelee, että me mennään tänne. Ja se räjähdys sitten vahvistaa vaan sitä, jos joku sen kuuluu. On se mahdollista, mutta se on epätodennäköistä, että ne löytää sille koiralle keskeltä metsää. Niin kuin minkään jäljen. No mutta kuitenkin meillä on, on tässä varmaan muutaman minuutin aikaikkuna ennen kuin jommalla kummalla tutkalla on sitten lisää porukkaa. Niin hyökätäänkö me nyt vaan sitten tip top nopia vai vaihdetaanko me ajatusta? Ei me muutamassa minuutissa ei tehdä mitään. Ruomio 1 on vasta matkalla ja tämä meidän muu joukkue vaatii ainakin viisi minuuttia, että me ollaan kasassa. Mikä silloin on vihollisen vahvuus tällä hetkellä? Ensin, että tarvitsisiko saluttaa tuo yksi räjähemies? Ei tiedetä. Eikö kellään ole silmiä vielä? Eikö se ole yksikään ryhmä, mikä tänne tuli jo ennalta, niin ole kerennyt yhtään tiedustella sitä? No, kun siellä on miinotet tolleen näkentän ympärillä, se on hirveä riski lähettää sen joku kattoo sitä ennen kuin me ollaan valmiita hyökkäämään. Pitäisikö tässä nyt vetää niitä vihollisen joukkoja sitten jonnekin muualle jollain muulla ennen kuin me ollaan valmiita hökkää? Mikä meillä on aikaikkuna, milloin me ollaan valmiit? Meillä oli kolme tuntia tehtävän alusta suorittaa tämä tehtävä. Ei, mutta milloin meillä on porukat valmiit? Ruomio 1 on nyt se suurin kysymysmerkki. Niillä menee aika pitkään vielä, ennen se löytää tämän tutkan. Missä ne tällä hetkellä nyt on? Ne menee tätä jänkiä tietä pitkin tuolla kartan länsipuolella. Niillähän on se eri tutka ihan täysin. Kyllä. No odotetaanko me niidenkin hyökkäys sitten? Kyllä, idea on se, että me odotetaan ja hyökätään molempia ah, kohtaa samaan aikaan. Ah, where are you going? Romeo Chen is on, on, on our way to the recruit point now. Uh, we are southeast of your location right now. Are you alone? Sen ne... Boomer, mikä on sijaintia? Ollaan me jossain aika lähekkää. Mä oon aika kaukana varmaan täällä vestissä ja lähellä sitä odotuspaikkaa. Kuitti, sä oot kävely varmaan joukkueesta. Wake one. Mä oon tässä nyt tän nelosen luona. Joo, mä näen tonne tuolla joku etelässä joku vahtipaikka uh, tässä. Ten, this is three. Send. Enemy comms indicates uh, increased uh, surveillance of, of uh, increased mm -hmm. movement around a town, possibly somewhere northwest mm -hmm. from the backup radar. The town its name started with Swiss something, but we couldn't make out the rest of it. Copy. Thanks for the info. Eli laittaisiko ne sinne backup radarille sitä porukkaa sitten? Varoita hetki, mä pitää etsiä tää ryhmä tästä. Uh, Romeo 4, have you black across the road? I mean, have you, like, I, I, I haven't spotted the road coming from Sulu 3 south. Have we crossed it? Uh, this is the road uh, for Sulu 3. Where? I don't see it. Uh, oh yeah, I saw. barely see it. Oh yeah, I saw. Yeah, copy. Right, so now we wait for the uh, rest of the guys to arrive, and we'll, uh... Do you have an ATA? Mm. I mean, Romeo 2 was right behind us. They probably... Romeo 2, Romeo 10, what is your status? We just, we lost a few time ago, our uh, squad leader, and received command. We're still moving to the new regroup point. Copy. Well, they are unknown. Jatketaan vaan suunnitelman mukaan. Kootaan joukot, 
Ora saat Romeo X löytää putkan. Romeo 3 is crossing the road south from Zulu 3. Towards the, to the west side. Romeo 3, be advised. Romeo 4. Romeo 10 currently on the east side of the road. So once you are over, you can just hold your position for now. Copy. Hold positions after crossing the road of Zulu 3. Romeo 3 out. Hey, Reveli, do you know why I can't draw on the map? Um, markers are disabled. You cannot put markers while we are in the game. Copy that. Right, so all we need now is Romeo 2 and we can... Uh, So, Romeo 4, I think we're gonna adjust the plan. Since we got so many guys at Zulu 1. Once we. No. Et älä ainakaan näy lisää liikettä täällä vartiopaikalla täällä etelässä. Niin mä veikkaan, että ehkä ne on lähettänyt sit sinne pohjoisen kakkostutkalle sitä yeah, but... uh, Toista, uh, Zulu 1, mikä vihollisen voima? Niin, en mä näe, kun täällä siis paikallaan se ei sovia vartiomiehiä, niin kuin muutama kappale, ei näy mitään muuta liikettä täällä. Niin, niin mä oletan, että kai ne nyt on lähettänyt sitten niitä sinne backup raiderille sitä vihollista. Eli siellä ei ole ajoneuvoja? No siis on tässä se yksi kuorkki, jossa ei valot päälle tohottaa, mutta mä nyt juuri sitä näe. Joo, no se nyt ei ole uhka. Toki jos siinä on jotain kyydissä, niin sitten, mutta en mä tiedä. Taitaa olla vaan valon lähteenä tuossa. BTR, että hän tässä nyt taluttaa. Alright, never mind. Um, contact at Zulu 1 seems to have moved away. There's only like... No, kyllä tästä näkee se kuorki, se on tyhjä näky. Send. Enemy has increased activity. Uh, to the west of the northwestern uh, AO side village Rabi, mountain of Lisna, increased enemy activity. Copy last. The Rabi on siis ihan northwest alueen kulmassa, eli ei haittaa meitä, jos siellä tapahtuu jotain. Hei. Anyway, so contact at Zulu 1 has died down. There's only like one squad with the truck. Niin, vähän eri kulmasta okay. näin. So niin we can probably... Tyhjää. Tässä nyt on ar arviolta vaan partion verran porukkaa no. tässä tarkastuspisteellä. So I think we're gonna... Tässä Zulu 1. Proceed as... Romeo 2 to command. Anyone on new reboot point? Romeo 4 and Romeo 3 are currently on either side of the road. Break. Romeo 3, if you have art recruit points, go into the forest and go firm and don't wait for instructions. Roger that. Okay. Order Helicopter order flying order. above us, take cover. Romeo 1. Romeo 10, message. This is Romeo 1, wait one. Romeo 2 to, to command, we're closing in on the regroup point. Please be aware of friendly. Copy last. 
Romeo 10, this is Romeo 1. Romeo 1, what is your current position? Romeo 1 is... Romeo 1 0, this is Romeo 1. Uh, our position currently Yankee 4, southeast, approximately 300 meters, we just crossed MSR Stahlhagen and now moving next towards Yankee 5 over. Uh, be advised, Yankee 4 has some enemy activity on it. We have spotted at least two times enemy UAZ, small vehicle, over. Copy last Romeo 1, the platoon is waiting on you. Try to increase the pace if at all possible. 10, this is 3, urgent. Send. Enemy air element is dropping VIP at entire air site 3. I repeat, VIP, entire air site 3. Copy, that's good intel, but uh, not something that we can act on, unfortunately. Mikä on AA3? Ei tiedetä. Mihin se helikopteri lensi? Mihin suuntaan se meni äsken? Sehän on se suunta. Jos ne ei laskeutunut tuohon lentokentälle, niin lensi meidän länteen. Mut siellä on kaksi AA saittia. Sehän on varmaan siellä lopputehtävästäkin sitten. Kunhan nyt eka saadaan meidän ensiaanen kohde tuhottua, niin odotellaan sitä Romeo 1. Niin, mutta pitää olla kaukaa viisas reveli. Jos me tuhotaan ne tutkat, niin me ei lähetä noille A-saita, sitten me lähetään kotiin täältä. Romeo 3 at hill 567 on the west side of the road, regroup point. Eyes on. Situation as follows. We are currently waiting for Romeo 1 to close on the backup radar. Missä se on se saatana kylä, se Zetseveli, missä on se vihollisen QRF tuon briefin mukaan? Se on niinku backup radarista north north westiin semmonen puolitoista kilsaa. Mutta joo, emme mitään vielä pitää laita hakemaan mistään antiersaisilta. Tuotaan tutkat ja otetaan irti pohjoiseen. Kopio. Nais vihtalo haliaa ja karosi. On täällä näköjään checkpointilla yksi uotsikin. Eli näyttääkö se semmoiset porukat, että se pitäisi tuhota samaan aikaan, kun me hyökätään lentokentällä? Mä en ole varma, onko toi niinku ihan tyhjä. Mä yritän katsoa vähän eri kulmasta. Romeo 4. Yeah. Uh, since we got some extra time, if you open your map. Yeah. We are currently somewhere here. Yeah. I want you to take your squad. Move south, east, and uh, take your squad somewhere here, a bit, bit closer to Hangar 1, so that when we start the assault, you will have an easier time getting there. I don't know, the men are very little, I'm going to have two guns, I've seen it already, and maybe three. Romeo 10 to all units, be advised, yes. Romeo 4 will be relocated to Sulu 2, west, 200 meters, in preparation for the assault. This is Romeo 3, can you repeat last? Romeo 3, be advised. Romeo 4 will be relocated to Sulu 2, west, southwest, 200 meters. So friendly is moving close to your position. Romeo 2 and 3 will continue to hold while we wait for Romeo 1. Uh, Romeo 1 0. Be 
advised enemy helicopter is moving to check uh, radar station and entire air site. After that, it will move to refuel. Send. Romeo one, send message. And Romeo one is now on the move towards the backup radar area, uh, location approximately in between Yankee four and Yankee five. Copy your last. Yeah, new one, yeah, one five out. minutes vielä. Se on se helikopteri just huoltamassa varmaan siellä sitten. Siis helikopteri huoltaa varmaan lentokentällä. Niin, niin, mutta sittenhän meidän pitäisi hyökätä, kun se alkaisi tuo ryhmä olemaan huudeilla sillä pohjoisessa. Se on varmaan just huoltamassa se helikopteri mm. sillä samalla hetkellä. On, mutta jos ne... Nel... Romy to the command. Send for Romeo 10. We are currently at grid 098, break 0288. We are waiting for the orders. Copy, good position. We are currently waiting on Romeo 1, so hold your position in preparation for the assault on the airfield. Roger that. Romeo T3 be advised, enemy vehicle moving towards the Nuri group point from the north. Niin se, että Romeo 1 on vaan kestänyt pidempään, niin olet mennyt tunti kävele spawnista jänkiin viitosen huudeelle. Viisi minuuttia ei mitenkään riitä, että ne pääsis tänne Backup Raiderille. Se alueen laitaan kilometri. Suoraan tietä. Jos siellä on liikettä siellä tiellä, niin ne ei varmaan voi käyttää sitä. No suoraan metsäpolkua sitten. Kuka sillä ryhmeistä? Siellä on Joel. Kyllä me nyt luotan, että se tietää, mitä se tekee. Copy last Romeo 4, hold position, and we wait for Romeo 1 before we start the assault. This is Romeo 3, we have enemy truck just dismounted 20 meters east from us on the main road south from Sulu 3. We have enemy foot mobiles 20 meters east from our location. Kuumutella. En mä usko, että ne tietää, että me ollaan täällä. Shots on north, wait, north wait. Romeo 2, Romeo 3, contact reports immediately. Repeat last. Contact reports, contact reports. Romeo 2 has spotted no contact. Over. Romeo 2. 
Romeo 3, come in imme immediately. All units, this is Romeo 10, we have been compromised. We start the assault on main airfield now. I repeat, start the assault on main airfield. Break. Romeo 2, attack radar this one, radar this two, eliminate them at all costs. Break. Romeo 4, start the assault on hangar 1 immediately. Romeo 4 is starting. Right. Romeo 1 0, this is Romeo 1. Send. Uh, does this bring a change to Romeo 1's mission or are we to continue towards radar, backup radar? Continue towards backup radar, destroy as soon as possible. Main force has been compromised, we are starting our assault now. Copy. You well. Boomer, you are going to go to the Korkki on paikalla ja Uotsikin on vissiin paikalla. Ei täällä ole ketään muuta kuin on pari vartioimista. Kuitti, me veikkaat kolme nyt jo taistelua, kun ei ole vastannut radiossa. Läheksä sinne ja mä lähden kentälle. Mä pääsen tästä aika nopeasti sinne. Mä oon tästä tuli taistelua lähellä. Mä en kovin syvälle tonne halua soolata mennä, koska muuten käy kaupat. Romi, tuu kun Mä suuntaan sinne kentän suuntaan. Romeo 2 sent. Romeo 2 is commencing assault. Ma olen nyt tässä meidän hyökkäysuralla. Menossa kohti sitä checkpoint, ää, dish kakkusta. Oi, dis on ollut kolmasella punaisia flareja, ne kutsuu varmaan helikopteria paikalla. Se on hyvä, sillä on löpöä loppukohta. Niin onkin. Voisi olla ihan vaan niille paikallista valaisua, että jos niille ei kunnen taas kun Panssari ajaneuvo kuuluu täällä kentän suunnalla. Sullahan sit kans kessi, mitä saa käyttää. Mä näen ton toisen tutkan. Siinä on nyt oma porukka vissiin sisällä siinä. Joo, nyt pitäisi olla kaksi ihan vierekkäin. Joo, nyt nämä on molemmat. Siinä joku tuli taistelu heti sinne tutkalle. Me päästiin sinne pohjoisemmalle tutkalle miehet näköjään sisään, mutta eteläinen on vielä aika kaukana. Mä menen väijyttään tuohon eteläisen tutkan eteläpuolelle tuota risteystä, sillä on vissiin kuuluu se panssariajoneuvo, jos se tulee sieltä, niin mä ammus. Koitti, mä yritän pitää tuossa sulla kolmosen tietä. Tässä katse alla. Savuttaa, että sä vaan pääsis tuolle kauemmalle tutkalle asettaa ne vitun panokset. Saaksen tuota kessillä? Käykö se? Käy. Okei, okay, no mä pääon tässä reservissä, niin saas tuhottua tuon yhden, niin mä saan tuhottua tuon toka. Joo, pohjoisempi tutka tuhoutuu. Eteläinen on vielä maissa. Romeo 2, are you able to assault the other radar? Romeo 4, Romeo 10, repeat, repeat your position and status. Romeo 2 has destroyed radar dish 1. Copy, are you able to destroy these two? Hind the better at the main pad. Romeo 4, what is your status? Uh, we just found only one uh, jet plane on the hangars one. Uh, it's destroyed. 
Copy. Move to checkpoint and support Romeo 2. I repeat, move to checkpoint immediately. Support Romeo 2 in destroying these two. Vihollisen taistelijoita tutka kakkosella. Mä autan niitä, että ne pääsee siihen. Kuit, sieltä on nyt se nelon tuossa kanssa etelästä. Tukka. Useita vihollisen taistelijoita tutka kakkosella tässä eteläisellä tutkalla. Helikopteri pärää myös tässä päällä. Yritin amposta, mutta vittu se ei lähtenyt. Se alkaa tuolla koneetta kyllä ampumaan. Se on Romeo 2 tuhotanut sit siihen. Mä saan ehkä soluttauduttua tolle tutkalle, onko mulla panoksi? Ei pitäis, on vaan skessi. Periaatteessa se nyt on paskana, tiedäkö, jos mä ammun sen tästä niinku kiväärillä tai granaateilla tai ihan millä vaan. Tommonen vähäkkeestä no. ampumista. Romeo 4, Romeo 10, urgent. Go ahead. We assume Romeo 2 has been destroyed, Craig. I need you to use an AT launcher and shoot it into these two. I repeat, use AT launcher and these two. Do you copy? I repeat, uh, the objective for the AT launcher? The these two, radar these two, southern radar these. Use your AT launcher and shoot into it to destroy it. Copy that, I have eyes on it. It's a bit hard to use the Kivari, it's just a bit of a mess. Do you have another one? Yeah. Alguien there's a, there's like a generator, like a container, right next to it. Romeo 4, I repeat, there's like a generator, container next to the radar. Use your other AT launcher on that instead. Saadaanko me käyttää vihollisen PST-aseet? Ei iso ars sääntöjen mukaan. Nyt se olisi vain yhden AT, vaikka siinä on semmonen kontti siinä vieressä, mikä on niin voimalähde, niin se nyt riittäisi tuhoamaan sen kolmeksi tunneksi. No, nyt sitä etelästä tutkaa ammuttiin kerran singa. No hyvä. Assu 25 lähtee ilmaan. Copy, Romeo 4, disengage east. I repeat, disengage east, objective destroyed. Break. Recruit at Chulu 4, I repeat, recruit at Chulu 4. Otetaan irti sulla ne asella kaikki, jotka on elossa. Näyttää, että Haindi nyt laskeutuu ehkä. Ei, kun se tulee rynnäkköä vielä. Romeo 10, Romeo 3, Haukopi. Sen for Romeo 10. Romeo, te, Romeo 3 is currently 500 meters north of Tool 3. Request in order. Romeo 3, there is a group of three hangars at the northern end of the airstrip. Break. Do you think approach from the northwest side from the forest? Try to get inside the hangars. Use launchers to destroy any valuable equipment inside. Please confirm. Romeo 3 copies. We will flank north. I will inform you of our of our directions once we have our eyes on the hangars. Over.
Ah, come on, this is Romeo 4. Uh, are we supposed to go to the lookout point? Romeo 4, disengage east, recruit at Shulu 4. I repeat, recruit at Shulu 4. Copy that, moving to Shulu 4. Roma 10, Roma 3. 10 for 10. Uh, further information of hostile forces break. Dog patrol at the R field. Over. Good copy. Romeo 4, be advised, you will be tracked by the enemy. So be aware, you will be tracked. Make your way to Sulu 4 immediately. Bummeri, jatko vielä alussa? Joo, mä vältän tuota koirapartiota, se jahtaa minua. Mä menen etelän kautta pois. Joo, kuitti tällä. Onko meillä mitään täydennyspistettä missään? Tarvitsisi kessejä lisää. Ei, ei ole. Mehän ollaan siis tsekeissä noin muuta tuhat kilometriä etuliiton takana. Joo, mutta johon sitä jollakin meätkin on tänne saatu. Ei täydennystä, ei tukea. Yksi respaalta. Se koirapartio nyt seuraa minua, mutta ne tulee aika hitaasti. Mä menen sulu kakkosen kautta pois. Mä kävelin just vihaisen kuorma -autoon. Ah, saako sieltä ottaa mitään A-tarviketta? Ei saa, jos säännöissä sanottu, että saisi joten... Normisäännöt ei mitään vihaisen kamaa. Se kopteri ehkä nyt alkoi laskeutua tuolla. Kuitti, me ollaan nyt tehty homma. Tutkat tuhottu. Toivotaan vaan, että Romeo yksää homman kotiin. Romeo 1, Romeo 1 0. What is your status? This is Romeo 1 now, Yankee 6 West, uh, moving towards backup radar using the uh, marked Romeo 1 route in between those two roads over. Copy. Main radars destroyed. We are calling on you to check out the back check out the backup radar. Good luck. Romeo 10 out. Good copy. No niin, olen pois tästä vihollisen alueelta. Olen nyt jossain sulu kakkosen huudeilla. Mihin me kokoonnut? Palo. Kokoontuminen sulu neljä ja sulu kolme vihollisen kuorma-auto. Toistan, kokoontuminen sulu neljä.
Sí, Alfa Chan. Romeo 3, requesting information of possible mission completion. What is the current status, the status of the main mission? Radar this one and this two at airfield destroyed. Break. Romeo 1 is still on their way towards the backup radar. Copy that radar this one and two destroyed. Backup uh, still in operation. That's affirmative. Roma 3, over. Pitääkö sitä kakkostissistä sanoa, että se on vahingoittunut? Ei se välttämättä ole. En tiedä, miten tuo tehtävä puoli nyt näkee asia. No. Mitä puhut? Mä luotan siihen, että siitä nyt on joku voimalinja mennyt rikki ja ne ei saa sitä kolmasta tunnissa korjattua. Mutta sittenhän se nähdään jälkikäteen. Niin. No. Se on vähän armassa aina hankala kahta, kun eihän se muutu ennen kuin se on ei tää vanhattu siis ihan me... täysin. Tämä menee siis roolipelauksella, me puhuttiin tää tehtävän tekijän kaatukäteen. This is Romy 1 Ah. Romy 1 0, Romy 1. Romy 1, send. Now closing in on the southwesternmost uh, part of back operator, uh, presumed area, starting uh, to conduct the scouting of the radar over. Romeo 4, send for Romeo 10. Uh, this is Romeo 4, uh, 1 minute ETA for C, uh, Sulu 4, uh, rally point. Tuo Romeo 4 on nopea edes, mä en ongel tuolla vielä. Pummeri uskoo, että sulla kestää pitkään saapuus sulla Mitä? Mikä sun etä on sulla nelosella? Muutama minuutti. Kyllä. Mä ylitin sen tie, mikä on sitä Sulu nelosesta Southwestin sen pohjoisetelätie. Just nyt. Romeo 10, Romeo 3. Sen for 10. Romeo 3, just cross that. Road leading road from Zulu 4. We are trying to get a wide loop around the possible enemy forces. Copy. So you have been unable to approach the airfield. Is that correct? Romeo 3, this is correct. Romeo 3 will try to flank towards north once we get past the enemy helicopter. Copy, Lass.
Uh, this is Rome 4, we just had the chopper pass really slowly uh, on top of Sulu 4. Yeah, that's where I'm dead. Wipe your luck. Roma 10, Roma 3. Send for 10. Roma 3 trying to make a break for it. We are heading towards Bisky 1. Good copy. Näyttää siltä, että tuo reitti pohjoiseen on tuon helikopterin silmä olla. Veikkaa, että jatketaan vaan itään ja mennään tuolta pelialueen reunasta sitten tuonne yksi peli. Tiedäkö me mennä avuksi sille toiselle ryhmälle, jos me sinne lähetti niitä apujoukkoja. Varmaan kohta lähettää lisääkin. No, ei me päästä. Ruomio 1 on yrittänyt jo 20 minuuttia, mutta ei ne ole päässyt tuonne länteen. Kentän pohjoispuolta. Niin, ne on yrittää sitä, mutta... Me loppuryhmää sinne joukkoa, että sinne lähdetään. Miksei ne pääse? Helikopteri varmaan estää hirveästi tuota avointa seutua. Romeo 4. Romeo 10, what is your position? Romeo 4, come in please. Come in. Romeo 4, what is your current position? Uh, we are right now on Sulu 4. Copy. Romeo 10, Romeo 4 have recruited Sulu 4. Break. Our route to the north is under surveillance by the helicopter. We will not head to that direction. Break. Romeo 4, take point. We are heading towards Sulu 6. And we will use the eastern side of the map to get to our x field. So head to Sulu 6. I'll copy. Mä en usko, että se helikopteri pystyy vahtiin sitä pohjasta yksi. No ei, no meillä on Promio 3 siellä. Me mennään nyt itään. No jos olisit vastapuolen komentajan, niin sä lähtisit kaikki joukot nyt vahtiin niitä viimeisiä tutkia. Promio 10, Romeo 3. Intel information. Send. Enemy has is deploying towards anti-aircraft HQ possible trader with one times infantry squad plus a dog patrol. Copy last. Romeo 3, what is your position? Uh, Romeo 3 is still heading towards Whiskey 1, but it seems that we are not going to be able to head towards the airfield until Unless you want to do so. Liikutaan nyt ainakin pohjoiseen, kun se koira partio on meidän perässä. Romeo 4, please confirm that you have started moving. Ah, uh, confirm. Me lähdetään niiden perässä itään nyt yksin tänne jäädä. Romeo 3, Romeo 10, message. Romeo 3. From Whiskey 1, move northwest about one click to the forest at the southeast corner of the lake. Do you understand? Uh, copy that, so 500 meters west from Whiskey 2. That's affirmative. I would like to try you to get across to the western side to help Romeo 1 searching the backup radar if possible. Copy. Do you want Romeo 3 to head towards Uniform 3 from Whiskey 2? Yeah, sounds good. So forget the hangars at the airfield 
Um, head towards the backup radar. Se helikopteri vaikutti tosi sokealta, kun se toimi siinä lentokentän päällä. Se ei nähnyt oikeastaan ketään. Joo. Sen piti lentää ihan vitun hitaasti, että se näki ketään. Ja sittenkin se teki ainakin kahteen kertaan joutu lentää yli varmistaakseen, mm. onko ne omia vai vihollisia. No se kertoo sen, että niille pimeä näkölaitteita. Se on oikeasti vissi aika sokea se helikopteri. Juu. En kuulu puhetta. Ei, se tarkoittaa sitä, että niillä ei ole pimeä näkölaitteita tai että ne on tosi huonot. Niin ja se valohommakin toimii vissiin vähän miten sattuu. Ylitän tien ihan vapi navigoida. This is uh, Rome 4. Uh, we have some kind of checkpoint uh, towards Sulu 6. Copy. Do you believe it would be possible to go around? I mean, yeah, 100%. Romeo 4, we are ignoring that contact. Break. We will move north from Whisky 6 and recruit at Whisky 21. Our PH will re recruit at Whisky 21, about one and a half clicks north of Sulu 6. How copy? Copy that uh, rally point on Whisky 21. Copy. Romeo 10, Romeo 3. Romeo 3, send message. Romeo 3 currently at Whisky 1, break. Requesting that we are allowed to move towards lookout positions. Over. Permission granted. Roma 3. Mentiks me ohi sulupitasesta? Mentiks mä ohjaan sulupitosesta? Mä en nähnyt tätä etelään menevää tietä. Mm. Joo, kyllä mä taitti ehkä mennä. Sulu ku kuutonen on se. Eikö tää tiekaara vähän tonne sautiistiin? Kyllä me sulu kuutosella on joku pitäisen checkpointti, niin ei mennä sinne. Lähetään sit pohjoiseen ja viski kaksi ykköselle lähetään. Mä apartelee. Siinä meidän pohjoispuolella on Crash Plane laitettu kartta. Oikein, eli meidän vakoilijan, joka ne ammuttiin alas. Jos me löydetään sen, niin silloin se intaliinoiden... Ota joku Aa -a. Se on Romeo 2, se yksi ukko. No oh, hyvä, ota mukaan. To the north northwest, uh, north northeast. Oh, hello there. Are you the, the area. Are you the only survivor from Romeo 2? Uh, Goku, are you the only survivor from Romeo 2? No, I crashed and ah, okay. I got teleported here. Okay. Yeah, Romeo 2 got wiped. Yeah, Romeo 2 is dead as far as we can know. Uh, yeah. Uh, no, no. Last time I was. Two trucks at the fire uh, at the crash site, north northeast of en enemy trucks. Copy. Uh, we go around from the east side. We are not engaging that target. Um, Command. This is Rama Four. Uh, there seems to be uh, vehicle activity on the crash um, plane. Uh, it's uh, northeast of the crash plane circle. That's affirmative. Romeo 10 has eyes. We ignore that contact. We go around. Copy that. Romeo 1, what is the status of the backup radar? Currently conducting Raycon, uh, no, nothing to report yet, over.
Mä en sitten nähnyt rekkoja, niin huuli, jos mä kävelen niitä kohti. Ne on juuri tässä suunnassa ne rekkoja. Tota, ota kärki, jos tiedät paremmin. Se on siinä viski 21 sillä aika lailla ne rekat siinä lähes. Nyt tässä joku muu päämäärä ottaa. Romeo 4, Romeo 10, message. Come in. Once at Whiskey 21, we continue north. Next recruit point, Whiskey 4. Whiskey 4, copy that. Ah, we move directly to Whiskey 4. Yeah, that's affirmative. We're just getting out of here at this point. Yeah, so Gogu, we are. There's enemy activity at the crest plane. We are circling around. Yeah, I'm just explaining to our third guy what we're doing here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the crest plane. From your one zero, this is from your one. Send message. We just uh, spotted some Hescos, uh, approximately uh, marker backup radar northeast area. Uh, we'll investigate over. Copy. We presume that the enemy will be sending reinforcements to watch that position. I recommend you start being aggressive with the search. So speed is of the essence now. Romeo 3, send message. Romeo 3 is currently between Whiskey 2 and Uniform 3 along the red line. We are moving towards the lookout position. Copy last. Romeo 4 and Romeo 10 are taking the east edge of the area. We have to go around some enemies. Last, do you want us to set up a defensive position near Uniform 5? Uh, that's a negative, but Uniform 6 would probably be better. If there's enemy road traffic, they would be going through the road. Copy. Roma 3 will move to Uniform 6 and set up a lookout position. Uh, Rome 4 just reached uh, W21. We are moving to W4. Copy last. Romeo 10 will meet you there. Out. Tää on neljäs henkilö. Mikä? Tää on neljäs henkilö. Onko se joku teleportattu? What the fuck? Um, who are you? What squad? Uh, Romeo 2. I got teleported here. I was at the airfield. Okay, well, welcome aboard. We are getting out of here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What is going on? I'm the, I, was, I thought I was the sole survivor. We're uh, at the crashed plane. Crashed plane, where the fuck is that? East part of the map. Okay. The fuck? 
Yeah, dude, I was like chilling in the hangar. Well, I was taking pot shots with my RPG at the at the helicopter. Yeah, uh, drop the RPG. We're not supposed to use enemy weapons, and we'll just uh, keep our heads. Oh, on. my bad, my bad. I yeah. didn't hear that. And let's focus on the uh, task at hand, which is getting out of here. You got lost in the firefight, and you stumbled into our patrol going north. So good for you. <laughs> I guess yeah, stumbled is the right word. Vehicles rear. I think it should be over that forest. The fuck? I don't know, bro. This soft is yeah, uh, I sound the road. or something. Is this all of us? Yeah. Just the five of us are extracting? Yeah. Uh, we got four, I mean we got... Oh, we got five guys, yeah, what the hell? Yeah, another one got... We can't, <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> well, we got Romeo four in front of us. Romeo one, zero. Romeo one. Send message. Now beginning an aggressive push to the HESCO uh, to investigate what's up there, over. Copy. Send message. Uh, Roma 3 has eyes on possible enemy checkpoint between Uniform 4 and Uniform 3. How copy? Yeah, we're at Whiskey 21 right now. Copy. Romeo 3. Uh, wait one. we be at whiskey three then We're from your three do you think it would be possible for you to assault four. assault that position okay. once the backup radar has been destroyed Red one. okay let's keep heading north then yeah sounds good Send for 10. Uh, we are unable to assault the target as we are nearing uniform 5. And be advised possible enemy shooting at lookout position. Copy. Oh. Romeo 3, move to lookout position immediately. Investigate what the shooting is about. Suspect firefight between Soviets and resistance. Romeo 3 complies. This is Romeo 1. Send. And now we investigated the HESCO formations approximately uh, back up radar 
marker northeast, uh, hill 586, approximately that location, break. Uh, the ESCO formations appear to be empty, however, they have a concrete floor that could support some sort of radar equipment. However, the position appears to be empty right now, over. Copy. Have you, uh, break. Have you searched the entire area? Could it be possible that there's an alternative position somewhere within one kilometer radius? On ok. Uh, Romeo 1 0, Romeo 1, another net just hopped. Uh, can you say again over? Have you searched the entire area? Would it be possible that there's another position in one click radius? Uh, negative, but we just found some intel uh, located on the empty HESCO formations. We'll share in minutes over. Roma 10, Roma 3, in intel information incoming. Ready to receive. Enemies currently circulating around the area radar, so they are possibly inside the backup radar area. How copy? Good copy. Romeo 1 0, Romeo 1, can you say again what command just said over? We have. We are listening to radio. Enemy radio comes. Enemies concentrating around an air radar at this time. Uh, which radar? Say again over. We do not know. We do not know. Copy. Over. So I think we need to assault the uh, Intel uh, crashed plane site. No, and... negative. It's uh, irrelevant for us that it only has intel about the SAM sites. Uh, Romeo 1 may have intel about the radar. We are waiting for him to resend. We are not doing the SAM sites. The, um, we got like, I don't know how many clicks to the southwest corner of the map to get those two. That's unlikely. We have committed to the radars. Did you check? Anti-air assets. It's not Did about the weapons. It's also radar. Based on our pre-game discussion, it should be about some missiles. Okay. Good check. Romeo 1, Romeo 10. Romeo 1, 0, Romeo 1. Waiting on that intel. Enemy new radar position is Hill 514 Netise. I say again, Hill 514 Netise, uh, one click north from our current position at northeast back operator marker Hill 586. How copy do you want Romeo awesome. 1 to proceed towards? Missa vitussa se. So no kills it, Pohjaseen. Romeo 1 zero, Romeo 1 say again, do you want Romeo 1 to proceed to net this hill in order to destroy the enemy radar? That's affirmative, but be advised, we expect the enemy reinforcements there, but move north immediately. Good copy, over. Romeo 3, what is your current status? So uniform analysis, uniform 4. West about half a click. How the fuck did you find these guys, Gobu? I crashed and I got teleported here. Do you guys have long range radios? Yeah. No. Who is the team leader of you three? Um, no one. Assign one and the team leader should go on the platoon net with the short range. You can also do that. We don't, we have, don't have short range. ranges. Romeo 3, come in please. Uh, Romeo 3. What is your current it's position? The ground next to you. Romeo 3, clone 3, 200 meters east from Uniform 5, heading north. Romeo 3, we got new orders. Break. We got priority targets, backup radar located. Uniform 4, west, 500 meters. We need you to help. Assist Romeo 1, how copy? Priority targets. Red 1. Do you guys know how to set the radio on the platoon? Isn't there like a uh, commander signal? Yeah.
Uh, Boomer, uh, take the lead of this entire pause. Let's start heading west towards Whiskey 3. Roma 10, Roma 3. Send. Roma 3 is currently unable to help. Roma 1's assault on Hill 514, since we have currently the we have water obstacle between us. If you are at uniform 5, can you approach from the north side? We have already head, headed towards the lookout position. We are currently at basically southwest 500 meters from Tango 1. A copy. In that case, it's too late. You are committed to the lookout. Proceed with chat asking instead. Romeo 3. Romeo 10, this is Romeo 2, the three man squad on net. Copy last. Romeo okay, 4, guys. come in, please. We are here on this the This is Romeo 4. Check, check now. What is your position? Do you see? Uh, right now, I think and we are a little bit northeast of W5. We are moving and to then primary we to go help guys out with uniform four. So Romeo 4, it's a negative. We can't do primary exfil just yet. Break. Uh, repeat. Do not go to primary exfil. Primary objectives not completed. I repeat, do not head to primary exfil. Copy that. Do we wait on T4? Negative. Move to lookout. I repeat, move to lookout immediately. Romeo one zero, Romeo one. Send for Romeo one zero. We are now moving towards uni uniform one. Uh, we are to take a lookout position on the wood uh, uh, facing Natisa Hill uh, we'll decide further routes after we have eyes on the hill over copy Romeo 1 be advised if the resistance looks too high we have the option of getting the entire platoon tear but that may take up about an hour so assault if possible if not Go firm and wait for reinforcements. Hey, firm. Throw me one out. Romeo 4, please confirm orders. You have to head to lookout position immediately. That is Tango Copy 1 that. Moving west. To a Sitten kun ottaa aukia, niin odottakaa hetki, mä oon testi jäljessä noin komsta. Uh, negatiivu. Sorry, wrong comms. Romeo 2, this is command. Romeo 2, We have inserted to run on means and we're cruising heading to the airfield. Uh, repeat last. We have inserted to unknown means and we're headed to the airfield. Over. What is your current position? Uh, current position, uh, grid position. One zero two zero one zero. And that's uh, where we spawned. Oh shit! <laughs> Romeo two, confirm you are at our original starting location. Ready to receive. Are we? Hello? Enemy has T4. 
deployed a dog patrol somewhere north of Zulu 4. They are following a I'm not sure what that this is. Is this you, Roderick? From Zulu 4. Me, Gogu, and Cameron are alive. We're with Romeo 10. Bumber, uh, mihin We're currently with the commander itself. I'll copy. Uh, Whoever's using this radio net, this is the command platoon, short range. So you should be on your squad radio. Alpha 10, uh, Romeo 10, Romeo 15. Send for Romeo 10. I gave my short range to the Romeo 2. Are you following us? We are at Whiskey 3, south, south, southeast, east, uh, 400 meters. Uh, that's a negative, probably lost to when I was reading the map. Wait one. Okay, come to Whiskey 3, we'll wait you there. Uh, Zep, switch to channel 3. And we ran most of the way, so we're uh, quite far already. Copy. On our route, Whiskey 3 now, out. Alright guys, we need to start moving uh, northwest towards Whiskey 3 immediately. Whoever's following me, that is. Somewhere east side of the map. Uh, somewhere in the north and anti air circle. We just keep heading northwest. The first road we see should give us an um, idea where we are. Speaking of which, all right, gravel road, northwest direction. I think we are probably here. Let's follow this road west. That should lead us to Whiskey 3. Roger. Yeah, we're on the right road. Based on the uh, contours, we should be heading to Whiskey 3, just following this dirt path. Romeo 4, Romeo 3. This is Romeo 4. Uh, what is your current location and heading? We are uh, two, three, four hundred meters uh, east of Lookout. We are moving towards it. Uh, that's a negative. Please don't go to the Lookout position uh, right away. It seems that either us, Romeo 3, or you guys yeah, that have a be dog following you. So, at least Romeo 3 will do a run from Tango 1, Tango 2, and to, towards the Malu Kocznik village at the top of the hill. Romeo 10, please advise uh, Romeo 3 and 4 of what to do before going towards the lookout position. This is Romeo 10, we presume the Dog patrol is following up exfil from the airfield. Should not be immediate threat. Break. Primary objective currently not completed. We will consolidate the platoon on lookout and we will then proceed southwest to assist Romeo 1. We cannot leave until the primary objective is completed. Uh, Romeo 3 copies, so Romeo 10's orders are for Romeo 3 and 4 to move to lookout position. That is affirmative. Romeo 3, copies. Romeo 1, 0, Romeo 1, 0, this is Romeo 1. Reveli, the Send enemy message. is on the road at Whiskey 3. Hostiles, hostile front. Copy your last Romeo 15, Romeo 1, send message. Uh, Romeo 1, we have now eyes on the net is a hill, uh, no enemies at the moment. Uh, we are now looking at the buildings uh, southwest of the railway crossing southwest of Uniform 4. Uh, we reckon that it is not wise to use uh, this position to cross towards Netis. I will now try to see uh, if the railway crossing is usable. Over. Copy. Yeah. 
Roma 10, Roma 3. Send for Romeo 10. Uh, Romeo 1 will do a flank route uh, from Tango 2 to Lookout. So if the enemy dog is following us, we got a little bit more time before it finds us. Good copy. Good information that the enemy dog patrol is currently following you. Uh, I assume that they are about 20 minutes or so behind you, but if possible, do some kind of a loop from Tango 4 before advancing to look at the city. Why did they make you carry RPG with uh, when we were going on patrol? From a 10 or from a 3, uh, did you hear the last information of dog patrol following Romeo 4? Yeah, affirmative. It seems that the enemy is currently around crash, crash at plane, but I believe that they are moving towards north as well. Yeah, they are following our roads. That will take them a long while, Craig. Romeo 10, Romeo 15. 15 send message. 15 is uh, 300 meters west of Whiskey 3 with our uh, fire team. Uh, we are headed for Uniform 5 and uh, then what uh, instructions? We are currently trying to recruit the platoon at Lookout so that we can move towards secondary radar. Take your fire team and move to Uniform 6. Avoid the buildings at Uniform 5. How copy? Romeo 15. Romeo 10, Romeo 3. Alright, let's keep moving. Send. Uh, last contact from enemy forces at crashed, crashed plane was that they have marked their position with a flare round. So I believe that if you're gonna get your eyes on it, then you know exactly that they are. Romeo 10, Romeo 15.
friendly, friendly. U.S. forces, come here. U.S. forces. Why are you night vision now? No, stop it. Yes. Yes. Let me check the phenomenon. Does does some ha someone have contradicting info about that? <coughs> Well, you want the scope? Romeo 15 is in that area, but we are moving to Uniform 6.
Montako miestä meillä nyt on saatavilla? Me ollaan menossa tonne heti kun ei kasas. Eli se on tuolla kielellä, tuota niin, mutta muuten kustantuu huomenna mahdollisimman nopeasti. Ja edes on omia myös taistelussa. Tutkapaskaksi sinkoilla, mulla on ainakin yksi. Juu, oliko toista sinkoa? Ei. On räjähteitä. Negatiivi. Se on räjähteitä. Hei, Pusa, Pusa, nyt otat sitä itselle kaveri suojaamaan.
Ei mitä vittua, tämä on tämä on paskottu jo. Se on paskottu. Ah, tulee vittu, se, se muuten näkee. Mä oon Oh fuck, that hilo just fucked him up on the last radar. Hello. Hello. So, good news, objective completed, bad news. No one has reported that, so all of our guys are converging on this radar site. Ah. Uh. And all, all of the people with radios from Romeo 1 are dead, yeah. Yep. Yeah, and if I'm reading the clock correctly, there's 40 minutes until extraction. So the guys yeah. would probably have need would need to turn to primary exfil right now. If there mm, was yeah, I mean, uh, they might say in a bit that the radar is down. However, well, considering that Romeo One had to walk into the radar site to confirm see it that it had been destroyed, I'm not too confident. Yeah, and I didn't. Uh, I I just died when I was about to tell that in the in the radio because yeah. I'm not sure if the um, information was passed. The no, it's not. It's Everybody is converging on the radar side. So. Yeah, I just hope Buse would pick up a radio. Yeah, but I I died inside the. Yeah, post, so. yeah, it's it's highly unlikely. So yeah, it's going to be a mission complete, but uh, half of Team 4 is dead and the second half is walking to Italy, as we discussed pre-game. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> pretty, um, I mean, it's the, it's the name of the game to basically walk to the objective and then get killed, like, <laughs> as we begin the assault. <laughs> Fuck. I don't know if we, if we could have done something differently, I don't know what gave us away well, our I position. Mean, I mean, well, I mean, we destroyed the other radars, so yeah. it's just concentrated on guarding the last one. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, like, I think we tried to be careful as we as we made our way, but apparently not careful enough. Well, it's pro I suspect it was the helicopter, the gunner. Yeah. yeah. It is getting lighter. I don't actually. Let's see. Yeah, it's. I don't know, but Baba knows that the radar is down. And he's making his way. Home. Towards, yeah, I mean, like, he destroyed it, like, tennis. when yeah, you guys yeah. were destroyed by the helicopter, he just stuck yeah. up there and... I don't know if... <laughs> oh, Pavo and Roman 10 are just oh, passing so, each so, other. So, you mean Pavo, Pavo destroyed? Yep. Yeah. He crawled his way up there while, while you guys were being shot by the okay. helicopter. Okay, nice. Yeah, because uh, uh, I wasn't at that point sure anymore that uh, who I had with me, because we were in close contact with the enemy. And then uh, Busa, I asked uh, who, who has explosives or... Or uh, AT, AT stuff, and then I just heard that Busa has, and he was about to go in, but obviously, that, not obviously, but I, I think he, he was just uh, slow enough. Uh, I mean, too slow because I was in inside of the before. I think Pavo is making his way towards our own like a uh, uh, recruit point, KPH, uh, which is on top of the Hilkunes Hill 519. There. He's not going to find any luck there. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, so basically... And his Bob, orders Bob. are to wait there for 20 minutes, so... Oh, fuck. And yeah. I would say Busa, Busa is never going to be there. No, no. So yeah, basically Pavo, Pavo did what, what he needed to do mm -hmm. <laughs> in that situation. Because I mean... I, Pavo like uh, took advantage of the whole rest of the squad being shot at and just crawled his crawled his way out up there. Oh, see, so he crawled into there uh, uh, when we were uh, being shot by the helo. Yeah, being shot by the helo. He was already in the woods once oh. you like uh, pushed past the opening. He was already up there yeah, we, then. We were we were oh. just running running over to the the opening when the helos. So found it us. Yep. So we went back to, the, back to the bushes and hoping it didn't see us, but of course it did. Yeah, then we waited yeah. waited too long there. Yeah, we I mean have it's 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 too light or it's so light enough that they don't need night vision anymore, so the chopper's getting really lethal. 
Yeah, totally. The visibility is pretty good now. What is Romeo 4 doing? Shooting the helicopter. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sometimes it's, it's a problem when you have the night visions. You don't realize how light it is. Yeah. How much light there is already. Yeah. yeah well, I mean, Romeo 10, I was doing radio comms, looking at my map, and I like walked like an enemy, I don't know, lunch kitchen or something. Just completely murdered. What the fuck is that? Yeah, Romeo 10 is gonna be engaged in a minute. Yep. I think any minute now. Which is particularly sad because I had like my Romeo 15 a fire team in front of me, but I lost them because I was looking at the map and doing radio comms. <laughs> yeah. Who's hot miking? Hot miking and eating Rip. or something. Rip. Oh, Solomons. Yeah, and it, Poor it guy. was... Like, uh, 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 I'm not sorry if uh, uh, is even now aware that the... Uh, yeah, he's just a night vision. Oh no. Please, someone shoot the. I think Romeo 3 maybe. Should... I think they tried that, maybe. yeah. Oh! Yes, oh! 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 Oh, that's quite a tanky helicopter. Yeah. But I think now is the time for Romeo 10 to confirm that the radar is down. Just fucking go. <laughs> yeah, I'm sober at least heading home, so. Yeah. No, oh, yeah, Rome Romeo 10 is still still alive. They're patching yep. each other. But you need to go now. But I mean, it was like about. Uh, if I had five seconds more. Because I was just about to uh, tell yeah. the radio. <laughs> but the, yeah. Well, that happened. Yeah. At least, like, I think Harris and I, we had, like, pretty much the exact same uh, view how the mission should be pla played all the time. Uh, I think we, you, you did a good job, uh, basically, uh, being the 2IC in my squad. Today. Yeah, th I think it was, I it think was... that also. Uh, but uh, I also felt like at some points, uh, some points, oh, uh, I could have been moving, Firex moving faster and stuff like that. But... Oh, nice. But yeah, yeah I, think... the, I mean the ideas were pretty much same. Yeah, yeah. But at the push. same, at the same time, I think like in the in the start of the mission, we we both were sort of our on our toes. So so uh, we both probably maybe paced our movement a bit too too slowly yeah but also this was sneaking mission so mm -hmm. that was probably the idea mm -hmm. well, I mean, I at mean, least we managed to get to intel yeah but i mean in hindsight yep. had to be spotted that the uh, site is like empty before we had assault the airfield that would have been better but, so, yeah yeah I don't know. yeah true also we had a couple of problems with the main force the uh our recruit point I'm... was too close to the main airfield, and uh, our Romeo 2 threw an accidental hand grenade like half an hour into the mission. <laughs> so I was kind of on the time pressure that we are. They know where yeah. we are now. Yeah, but I mean, like, I, I also feel like um, we sort of were uh, pushed to move sometimes a bit too fast, also. So, what I'm trying to say is that I think uh, covering that, like, a uh, huge amount of ground in such a short time compared to the other squads was was the hardest part of the mission, basically. Yeah, true. I mean, be uh, for, main, for main my force should have least. waited somewhere a bit further, but somebody had to go to the backup backup radar. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So. I mean, like, I think it was a good choice to commence the assault also, but at the same time, uh, that created this situation where they can just focus on one radar. Yeah, I mean, I'm an, not sure if you noticed, but we actually had an enemy squad walked into our yeah, recruit yeah. points. So yeah, yeah. Wasn't we, really we, a choice at that point. We heard that. Yeah, we heard that. Um, also, given given the fact, even even if we had found the intel, uh, then it 
would have still took us more time to get to the new radar site, uh, and then we would have commenced the assault. So, so that would have been an even longer wait. I mean, we were That's true. two hours into the mission when we f were at the second point or at the actual radar site, which which we were supposed to attack. So, so given the fact that we that took us two hours, what what would have the rest of force done for for those two hours? Yeah, but I think it was like possible time wise, like get to their backup site, find intel, destroy the radar, get to look out and get to XVL in three hours. I think that was possible. In in three hours, absolutely, but given like uh uh given the situation with the like rest yeah, main that's, force yeah, that's true. The, the two hour wait basically. Uh that that's what I meant. It, I, the mission was absolutely doable uh, in that time frame because if we were at the two hour mark uh in the new radar side we, we still had would have had like good forty five to thirty minutes to do the exfil. I mean I did want to send Romeo three to help you guys out but look the north side of the airfield. But the thing is they couldn't do it. The enemy helicopter prevented them from doing that. So they would have Yeah they had to go around the lake. I mean, did we have an objective left at this point? Because if we had, I mean, maybe the platoon, instead of focusing its all force on the uh, radar side that we were now attacking, uh, it could have, like, um, uh, basically created a diversion for us to make a push for the radar well, site. I mean, not really, because if the enemy commander is smart, he realizes that he only has one radar left. So it like, yeah. In that yeah. sense, it didn't hit. Like it was either we take out the radars, or we take out the anti-air sites. Two of yeah. which are at the yeah. southwest corner of the map. There is no way we would get, would yeah. get those in time. Yeah. Also now, as, uh, I'm looking at the map. Uh, mostly talking to uh, Romeo, Romeo One. So at the um, Yankee Four, we decided to change our route and move to the eastern side of uh, MSR Stalhagen and yeah now it looks pretty obvious that if we had instead uh, moved west uh, we we would have been at the like Romeo one marker area much faster because there was, yeah. uh, the, we had to like uh, avoid I think it was multiple vehicles we had yeah, to like yeah. navigate through and like that. Uh, that was that was very very interesting. I, I liked it a lot. Uh, this was an yeah, interesting mission. Yeah, Anyways, even though, yeah. to, though it took, took like two hours to get into our objective. Yeah, but it's it's really nice. It's definitely a welcome change, so to say. But um, we we probably could have done like uh, the routing differently from from Yangi Four towards the backup radar site, but at the same time we did that decision to switch to the eastern side of the road based off the current situation and the vehicles on the road. So I I also think that during that time with those details that was a good decision. Nevertheless, yeah, I I totally agree because we it definitely looked like the there was a uh, more enemy activity to the north and northwest from Yankee Four. Yeah, and, yeah, and I mean we knew, knew that there were the entire air, uh, positions, and I at least yep. suspected that there might be some uh, movement in and around those those as well. So. At that time, the western approach, the along the western side of MSR Stalhagen, I, I I think that was much more dangerous than the yeah. route that we took. And and also one thing that I was thinking about in that How? session was that um, when we made the change, uh, if enemy was like trying to follow us, it would <laughs> probably make them feel like what the fuck are they doing? So some, mm -hmm. some confusion mm -hmm. at least. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And and yeah, and also I thought that uh, it would look like uh, if you, I mean, if they could make the sense of our uh, like uh, trace, uh, it would look like we our chance would have. I mean, our our plan would have changed that we would attack towards airfield or or something like that. So it was like uh, so, additional bonus. 
What's that jeep doing at the north? I don't know. We are not supposed to use hostile vehicles. Hmm. Oh, uh, is it Rom uh, Romeo Four or? Pavo is getting into the extra point. Well, he's on the point. He knows what's happening. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. So actually, who who was first at the at the lookout? I'm not sure if it was Pavo or or uh, Pavo was Piet there, Pietu yeah. one. Yeah. yeah, but I'm not sure. Uh, Pietu and by both the. Hard to say. Uh, Marco, yeah. But like, um, I think. Uh... Wait a minute, <laughs> a total blackout. By the way, what is the mission time at the moment? I don't uh, see. Uh, no, two thirty-five. Uh, yeah. Okay. So it's it's not too bad. They might might be possible to extract. Oh yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah. At, at least pa pa just based on time, but the enemy forces are also filtering in north, so that's uh. So did Pietu and the other guy just attack something? Yeah. Yep. The truck. Oh, nice. Oh, nice, nice, nice hit indeed. I feel bad. That's the um, unwrapped squad. Um, already we had apparently some guys from respawn. They came in. They took an enemy truck once again. What we are not supposed to do, and they drove into the Swedish guys. So that happened like, I don't know, 30 minutes ago. And now they are just burning on the roadside from a low ambush. Oh well, the life of a Soviet soldier. Well, but that's a very, very good ambush, I have to say. Yep. Oh, definitely bought some more time. But uh, Barco, Ruga, Rund, army guy joining there, making good pace as well. To try to block the force, I mean, and India is back. Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure that they don't know where our ex is. So that's at least something. So, mm, yeah, well, it, command never told me how we're supposed to extract if there's a hiding the area. Perhaps we get some air cover. Yeah. By the way, where does our positions like our our starting position and uh, expel position where where they uh, like predefined by the mission maker yes. or? Predefined. Yeah. Okay. Have they had, uh, the op or have they had uh, any success with the uh, dog patrols? I don't know. I mean, I... Yeah, uh, the thing that I was about to say, sorry, Reveling, did I just cut I mean, I think you? the only firefight that we haven't kind of initiated was when they walked into our recruit position at the airfield. So I don't know who did that, but other than that, I think it's... Blue 4 attacking Red 4 accidentally or on purpose. Yeah, depends what you think about. Uh, Romeo 1 was shot by the helicopter in the helicopter spot that ascended an open fire. Yeah, but that uh, wasn't the patrol, is what I mean. Ah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, so one thing that I'm now uh, uh, thinking also, uh, since we didn't notice the like the small paths uh, on the on the AO that also can be seen on the map if you just switch the scenery a bit or, or the imagery. Uh, then you can see the paths, but with the white background on, you can't see them. So if we would have like noticed that uh, earlier as well, I think our navigation would have been a lot faster because we could have used oh, totally. those paths uh, in the middle of the forest as well for navigation. Now oh yeah. Just relied totally to like uh, compass bearings and, and being totally in the middle of the woods. Yeah, and the, those paths were um, in the like the real world they were more like roads. Yeah, yeah. And it was it was very confusing. We had to stop a few times to just like trying to orient it. Uh, mm, yeah, after all, like our navigation wasn't bad, especially considering the, those paths. But now now when when like uh, when I look the map, the paths are fairly uh, visible. 
I mean, they don't look like bats because uh, the arma, like the basic log- logic would be that the bats would have been marked like yeah, kind of similar to roads. But this is, uh, I don't know what map was this. Uh, I haven't played on this before. This was some some custom map, so there was yeah. always very. It was a nice there. map, though. It was a nice map, definitely. But yeah, for what we could have. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true as well. But I mean, like the AO was interesting. I think. Yeah, I agree. I think the enemy probably knows that. The actual is, however, located in, in that area that they're now focusing their whole force to. Yeah, they they have to know at this point. Yeah. But I mean, I wonder why why they're still trying to make their way towards the lookout now. Are they to like actually do the BDA before exfilling or? Well, that was kind of the plan. That yeah. Assess the damage from the lookout. But I, I, it's not strictly required. I remember, like the what was the wording that Normi said? Um, it's like a nice ambience at the end of the mission when you are at the lookout. I believe is what he said. Yeah. But that kind of implies that we are not actively being pursued by half the enemy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Absolutely. I mean, now, now it's not so ambience yep. <laughs> when you're dead. Uh, now when I look at the up for movements and think about the ambush that they did like five ten minutes ago, uh, it may have also caused that uh, up for like have now better idea about the experience. Yeah, that's true as well. But if the vehicle would have been able to continue, would it had compromised other units? Maybe. Mm, yeah, because well, we don't know their their what what their plan was. Yeah. So yeah basically, yeah. If their plan was to move to position close to our like uh, um, primary exfil point, then that would have been much worse. Well, I mean, I think like north of the lookout, there's like an abandoned radar site. I'm pretty sure that that's somehow linked to the local resistance. So I think that's what they they were maybe heading for. Oh. On- Okay, so you're saying that there was a destroyed, what, well, uh, so radar station? Yeah, or? just north of the lookout, like half a click north, on top of the hill. There's like oh, a... oh, that yeah, hill like uh, 610 or the uh, Malikotchnik area? Yes. yes. All right, yeah. So that's somehow linked to the logo resistance. So what I believe is that the OP4 had like thinner in- info about resistance about this area. And they would eventually like proceed to neutralize them. But now that all the blue four guys are coming here as well, they may. Yeah, they uh, may by the exp- way, Go ahead. at this point, uh, I guess we can give like a virtual applause for Pavo, the yeah. primary expeller. <laughs> yep. And maybe thinking that he is lonely, <laughs> like lone survivor. <laughs> He's trying to establish comms using a satellite phone right now to get a rescue. So, yeah, he clearly hasn't uh, got a radio from anywhere, I don't think. Well, if he had the no, radio... We didn't, no, I mean, he was the guy who destroyed oh. the radar, so he surely would have passed that along. Oddball, Catnip, mm, and Bob guys have returned to the sound. Alejandro, yeah. the Swedes. I mean, when Pavo destroyed the radar, at least at that point, he didn't have, have radio. Yeah. Uh, it, he basically. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's bad. It, uh, Chief full of blue four is running into a red four. Yep. Oh. Except, of course, the red four guy doesn't know it. Hey, what? Uh, why, they, why do they even have the car? He shouldn't have cars. That is true, but they didn't read the rules. Oh, yeah. And yeah, okay, I can. Ah, uh, they are fighting. Fuck. Must feel bad. 
Yes, I said this is like the second time that happens to the Swedes. <laughs> oh well. Yeah. Yeah, and the Tango Map 1 is also moving there. So Romeo 10 is gonna be in a prob problem soon. Oh, in the trouble. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yes. Well, they are in a good defensive position holding the high ground. I think they have a chance if they just yeah. notice those guys. And Romeo yeah, like, yeah. Oh, Maybe. those guys have a dog. All right, all right. But, yeah. yeah, I guess Boomeri, Boomeri they have... Uh, yeah, they are shooting already. Okay. So, they indeed set up an ambush. Oh, the dog is coming. Too far. Oh, Solomon has the grenade launcher. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, I think we had like the M72 in each of on Romeo 1 and Romeo 2. Oh, cool. I mean, grenade launcher to the white smoke now. But... <laughs> oh. Oh, oh no. Oh. That was a that was a good RPG. Yep. Yeah. Have to give him that. Yeah, looks like this ambush. It's not yeah. going so well after all. It looked yeah. uh, it looked very good at the at the start. Yeah. That was nice. RPG, I mean uh... looks like it's it's gonna be just Pavel <laughs> leaving the area tonight. <laughs> I hope he has the keys to the sauna. Have they been able to kill the dog? Well, it doesn't matter no. much at this point. No, they weren't. Let's see what uh, the sniper can do. Oh, not much, apparently. Yep. <laughs> oh, well. So... Two red guys wounded against five blue guys. Okay. I think they somebody bled out from the red four. Oh, okay. Yeah, but that, that uh, especially that RPG was super effective. Oh yeah. Unlucky. Yep. I ran out of grenades because I was so, shooting all of them. Uh, look at Romeo four. Do. Romeo four is driving and Tango uh, Opor Tango one is shooting him. Yeah. Did Romeo 15 yeah. survive? No. Nope. Romeo, Romeo 4 is gonna be dead now. Yep. Fuck, that was a lot of people. It really is already dead. Yep, there we go. So They're it's dead. Romeo 3 anymore. And Papa. Mm. And 4. Yeah. Romeo oh, yeah, 4 is actually four. closing yeah. in on, yeah. on the... On the Xfil as well. As well as Pietu and Beipit. Or no, Beipo, Teo, too. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Oh, Imon and uh, Penax and Frix and Jonas, they're making their way to the Red 4 guys now. That Boomeri and folks were killed. Yep. The Red 4 probably doesn't know that they're coming, so. Oh, probably not. Do they still have the dog? Uh, they had it a while ago. I don't know. Well, actually, when the dog dies, does it just disappear? I shot the dog, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. there is like a respawn time okay. on the dog. So the bit Yeah, so yeah, there is no dog anymore. So it has been killed. Did I get okay. anybody did anybody at lookout point die to the grenades? A lot of blue four guys. Yeah, mm, but no. I, I think also two red red four guys were, were actually wounded by the grenades. At the start. When you threw like three at the time. Almost like simultaneously. Yep. Do Did we actually like... get respawned, or why is the no. respawn thing mm, up there? No, no, no respawns no. for blue four at this point. Okay. But yeah, that uh, ambush slash defense at the at the lookout, uh, it looked like uh, super promising. But then the enemy was like super effective with the RPG. 
and right. Yeah, I think Imran and Penix they they now now have a pre yep. Yes. Let's see how this goes. This should be interesting. Oh no. Battle of the Lookout Hill. Yeah, I mean, the effect of the NVGs has now worked off, so I mean, it's pretty much one against one at this point. True. Blue Forum doesn't have any real advantage anymore, and the numbers are against them as well. In a way, in a way, I wish the night would have lasted longer. Is that's kind of I think the whole point of the of the mission. Yeah, but also. But I I kind of get it that it penalizes Blue for if we take the entire yeah. three two hours to do an objective, so there's an incentive yeah. to yeah. get yeah. something it, it done makes, in time. It makes a lot of sense in like from the gaming point of view. Mm -hmm. Ten minutes until the airstrike. I just hope the airstrike like is actual actually. Well, I was pr I was promised bombs on. Th that's where we're supposed to be at the lookout to do PDA. Ah, all right. Yeah. So Roma Roma three did we draw? Yeah. Yeah. Good choice. Uh, absolutely. I mean, the hind is there as well, so. I'm a bit told that the hind Romeo. gunner respawned of all the players. Oh. <laughs> and Pablo is still lonely waiting at. <laughs> yeah. And Romeo like 4 is now making their way back to the lookout, so... Uh, that's, a mistake. Shows... that's a mistake. Yeah. But, uh, and why did they? Pedro and uh, Vape, they don't make their way to the Exfil? Why are they now deciding to pursue the entire air location or whatever? I don't know. Oh, Imona is taking fire from the behind. Yep. I was just thinking that uh, is is Roma four um, maybe thinking that they should be in the look at the lookouts at this point. Well, yeah, but it was uh. made clear in no uncertain terms that this traction arrives. Oh, oh, whoa. and That's then it arrives. So what is Roma four doing? They're going in the wrong way. Yep, yeah. they heard the firefight. Yeah. So it's totally looking at this point that Pavo will be only one flying home. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so really? I'm actually thinking about Pietro. You know, it's possible that they don't know that the radar is down. So maybe they are trying to complete like, like a secondary objective as a consolation. Yeah. Yeah, true. It's like the uh, small amount of radius, or always. Yeah. Like, like, uh, Since they're things, probably, probably, probably making their way towards the anti-air side, kind of hard to tell without the map markers, but... <coughs> yeah, so like, if they don't know that the radar is down, well, according to the mission briefing, the primary exfil is not coming, so there's no point going there. Oh, yeah. Mm. Uh, uh, and they what, also what have no the... way... Wait, well, you know when the exfil will actually come because they they don't hear India calling in. I mean, talking to India like on the radio is not required. That's more like we need to coordinate like the secondary exfil. Oh, okay. I mean, what what was the condition that uh, primary exfil will act like activate? Well, if if anti air is down or if the radars are down. Uh, and our radars down. How how yes. happened? Both radars are down, okay? So the primary exfil should come. Yeah, right. I mean, as far as I know, we've completed our primary objective. Romeo yeah. 1 used the satchel on one of the on these, one of the DCs on the 
sight and then they got killed by the hind. So Romeo yep. 4 put um, 2 times AT or the loss in the second disc. So the model is not destroyed, but I'm like confident that we've caused enough electrical damage that it's not repaired by the time they're uh, yeah. So Yeah, so you were uh, saying that uh, not everyone still in the mission is aware that the boat radars are destroyed. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. And there's Firebite. Boomer is saying in the chat that, that they do know. Yeah, but who? Okay. Okay, well, good if they know, but then it's not entirely clear what they're doing. Can you there's guys Loki. not hear me in the chat? Now, now we can. Now we can. Oh, that's stupid fucking shit. <laughs> they. Pietro is looking for a truck so it can take us to secondary exfil because uh, it won't be usable if the hind is there. I That's thought that it would be some simple transport helicopter coming in and picking guys up, but if the hind is it's gonna I mean, kill it. That's smart, but mission rules prevent us from using enemy vehicles. Yeah, this is the end of Romeo 3. <laughs> Or at least right now it looks like there's no other oh, no. possibility to get to secondary exfil, so well, I don't not know. in not in time, yeah, that's true. Yeah, I'll I'll take that up in the deep brief. No the enemy vehicle rules was fairly. But uh, was yeah. there like some um that uh, was it required um sorry my English is not getting Kerro suomeksi, me voidaan kääntää. Joo, eikö siis tosta primary exfil niinku kondisiosta, mikä se pitää olla, niin oliko semmoista ehtoa, että jos se hindi on mestolla, niin silloin ei tuu sitä primary so, exfilia? Not in the, pre in the mission briefing that I've received, and what I've talked to the mission maker, there was nothing about the uh, primary exfil being cancelled if the hind is alive. So I'm assuming yeah. that there is some type of anti-air escort coming to pick us up. Yeah, that was... Indeed, what, uh, what I was thinking also, but uh, I also think that uh, it was mm, it was like soli solid logic to think that uh, if Hind is there. Yeah, I mean, I won't blame the guys from doing so. Yeah, me neither. But if I Probably. if I was alive as the platoon leader, I would just order everybody primary exfil, and we'll just wait for the cavalry to arrive. Since yeah, that's what I got based. Yeah, but actually, Romeo 4, Rom Romeo 4 is at least moving to the uh, primary expo. Hard. Well, that's good. They changed their it mind. Be, it, they might just make it in time. It's 3 minutes to airstrike plus 10 minutes to the um, extraction, so oh. I should have time. Oh, yeah. Now, Pavo is gonna blue on blue everyone <laughs> that comes to the. <laughs> Primary extra. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're all gonna shoot each other. And mm, yeah, last guy will just bleed out. So, uh, Romeo 15, are you still here? Yes. Yeah. So, I mean, we. I just want to confirm, but we pretty much assumed that you guys didn't get the memo that the backup radar had been destroyed. Yeah, we got it once we w went there and checked yeah. it ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> yep. That was like. Um, it was like if I was uh, alive for maybe five seconds more, uh, because I was just about to pass the information that uh, it has indeed been destroyed, but then they uh, hide shoot some rockets and shit and, you know, to that radar side. And then I died, and most of other guys. Yeah, also a valiant effort on the lookouts, although it didn't work out too well. Unfortunately. Yeah, it was just basically that one of our uh, RPG guy who uh, destroyed mo most of the blue for there. Jonas is trying to get away. I mean, doesn't really have much of a choice at this point. I mean, I guess he could try to surrender, but I don't think those guys are taking prisoners.
It somewhat looks like a uh, offer is, is at least not not like totally aware of the uh, exfil point. Yeah. Or they might think that the lookout is like a super important position for for blue for maybe. I mean, there has been so much uh, fighting there. Yeah, shout out to Romeo 4 for making. What? What? No, we possibly need to like manually. Uh, yeah, probably. Go to spectator. What? Yeah, uh, yeah. So at this point, I guess what we need no, no, to no. do. I, I was able to get back the free camera. Uh, okay, how? I'm just stuck click it. it. Just click the free camera button down below. Ah, um, yeah, true. Yeah, it works. It's just because the uh, well, I guess the wave respawn script uh, or mod uh, isn't like made for this kind of uh, like customized respawn just or. Yeah, like it was. It, it, All I right, mean, I can no, see no, some A tens in the air now. Nice. Oh yeah. Like over over sea minis. Yeah. Oh, uh, it's actually yeah dropping bombs now. And they're bombing the insurgents. Yeah, <laughs> not insurgents. What? <laughs> what? Okay, well, those guys are dead. Oh. Bart, oh. that's a uh, new flight went over the airfield now. Oh, yeah. Like 15s or something. Alright, something is burning. Oh, yeah. But the bombers are fine. Yeah. A new flight is actually appearing, closing in as well now. Yep. Oh, Romeo 4 seems like they have decided to like, <laughs> just stop one guy watching at the Dixon. <laughs> well, the bombers are totally fine. <laughs> Oh, no, the oh, other one is actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, quite well, but this is still... Uh, those yets are just fine, they're three yets. Yeah, in the airfield, that's true. Oh, Jonas. Oh, no. Okay, so Romeo 4 is coming to the... Exfil, yeah. Yeah. Maybe Pavo... Pavo will be trigger happy and shoot them all. Well, I hope not. That would be a shame at this point. <laughs> He's getting insane sitting alone 20 minutes, so... I mean, more. He took like 20 minutes to walk there in the first place. Oh, that's Romeo 3 having a bad time. Yeah. Oh yeah. Run, Jonas, run.
and now if we mute TS, he doesn't uh, hear the mm, in-game players talk, if he wants to hear them. Or, well, can't have everything. It's only one Black Hawk. Well, that's plenty in up space for the remaining guys. Yeah, but if the Hind was there. Well, true, but as I said, based on mission intelligence, I believe the American Air Force would cover our primary exfil. Yeah. Well, Romeo 4 did a good job of distracting. I mean, Romeo 3. Good job, but. Distracted. Now, is Pavo AFK? That would be a bad way to. Oh, yeah. Dive. Oh, no, Pavo. Oh, he's moving. Oh, he's moving. Well, I mean, there's Pietro and Bay Potato looking for the truck. Yeah, it's gonna be a long drive to what? Italy? <laughs> yep. Well, at least they're thinking ahead. So, four successful extractions and uh, some other guys is the final tally. But I mean, the mission was a success. <laughs> No matter the the damage. <laughs> Looks like the enemy behind is totally unaware that a heel just landed and left. Yep. Yeah. Still looking for Romeo three? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 